we have Netaji's grandson joining us live with us. Mr. Subruto, such a momentous day for India. We're going to see a massive hologram, a hologram image that's going to be projected right at the place where Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's statue will be erected at the India Gate. Uh, this is the first unprecedented. How does that make you feel? Well, uh, I think it's uh, important uh, to have uh, Netaji's statue at a prominent place in New Delhi. So I welcome that move. Uh, but I would also like to add that the best monument uh, to Netaji is to adorn and enlarge his legacy of uh, equality and unity. Uh, he was the leader of our freedom struggle who united Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs and Christians in his Azad Hind Forge by giving equal rights and equal respect to all. That is something that we must remember today. He had also brought together all of India's linguistic groups, uh, saw men and women equally. He had uh, a women's regiment, the Rani of Jhansi regiment. Right. I think it's very important to remember his uh, ideals, not just worship him in statues of uh, gold or granite uh, or uh, hologram, but actually imbibe uh, his uh, real uh, deep uh, ideals, which are as relevant in India today as they were uh, during the freedom struggle. Oh, uh, Mr. Sugato Bose, this is, of course, uh, uh, what India is known for, to be diverse, to be uh, so culturally entwined, uh, mixed in, and thriving so beautifully. Uh, do you believe that we're not following the principles of uh, Netaji? Why, why, do you why do you want to reinforce it at this point? I do want to reinforce it uh, at, at this point because, uh, unfortunately, we are heat hearing hate speeches from certain platforms, um, particularly against uh, minorities uh, and also Dalits, and this would have really upset uh, Netaji because uh, among his closest followers were people belonging to all religious communities. My father, Shishir Kumar Bose, drove him on his escape from Calcutta to Gomo, but the man who received him in Peshawar was Mia Akbar Shah. When Netaji came from Europe to Asia on a 90-day submarine voyage, uh, his only Indian companion was Abid Hassan. Uh, the commander of the first division of the INA, which fought in Imphal, was Muhammad Zaman Kiani, and the man who raised the tricolor uh, at Moiran uh, near Imphal was Shokat Malik. His only companion on his last airplane journey was Habibur Rahman. And we all know that at the Red Fort, the British had put on trial a Hindu, a Muslim, and a Sikh, Prem Kumar Sagal, Shahnawaz Khan, and Gurbak Singh Dhilan. And the man who built the INA memorial in Singapore with its uh, motto of uh, Ittefaq, Etmad, and Kurbani was a Christian officer, Cyril John Stracy. So you can see from the names that I've given you how he brought together everyone, gave everyone equal rights, equal respect. And I think that we are backsliding from that commitment today, mm -hmm. which is why I want to reinforce this point on Netaji's 125th birth anniversary. Right, Mr. Bose, uh, do you believe that that's uh, precisely what's being stressed upon with the uh, statue coming up at the India Gate? It's such an iconic spot for the world to see. Uh, th this is a step towards establishing what the Netaji followed and preached. I hope so. Uh, I hope so. That when uh, people see uh, that, uh, that statue, that image now, uh, but uh, later I hope it will be a very fine sculpture, when they see uh, uh, that uh, image, I hope they will all uh, remember what Netaji stood for uh, and follow his ideas. We have to build a new India based on uh, what were Netaji's ideas, ideals and dreams. Right. Mr. Bose, uh, here, Prime Minister Modi today on the birth anniversary of uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose has said that uh, this hologram is going to be erected. It, and in fact, they've also decided to begin Republic Day celebrations a day in advance on the day of uh, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's birth anniversary. Uh, that kind of respect being given to uh, Netaji, how, how would you receive it? I think that's quite the right way uh, to, uh, to respect Netaji. 
the ordinary people of our country have always revered him for his life of uh, suffering and service and sacrifice. Uh, and uh, it is appropriate uh, that governments uh, at the center and all of the states uh, should uh, also uh, show him the respect uh, that, uh, that he deserves. Today, we also had an international dimension to the uh, uh, program which we had at Netaji Bhabon, his ancestral house at the Netaji Research Bureau. Uh, the former prime minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe, sent a very warm message of congratulations. Mm. Uh, uh, Netaji Shubhashtendra Bose uh, is not only a figure who is respected all over India and South Asia, but he fought for the liberation of the whole of Asia from Western imperial rule. And so I think it's important uh, that the international dimension, uh, the global odyssey of Netaji Shubhashtendra Bose should also be remembered uh, on his 125th birth anniversary. Uh, well, we see that the Prime Minister is also all set to uh, unveil seven boss Puraskas, awards to be given on the name of Netaji. Uh, how, how would you take that? Good, and I hope that uh, uh, this will uh, inspire our younger generation to learn more uh, about uh, Netaji's life and work uh, and will inspire them uh, to serve uh, our country uh, selflessly and with great dedication. Well, Mr. Bose, uh, today on the 125th anniversary of uh, your grandfather, our India's greatest freedom fighter, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, give us uh, some of those trivias that maybe a common man would like to hear on this day. Uh, what, what really made Netaji the man that he was? Well, uh, uh, Netaji was absolutely dedicated to the cause of uh, India's freedom. I have heard many uh, anecdotes from his close uh, associates, of course, from my father about the escape, uh, but uh, from S. A. Iyer, how Netaji wrote uh, the proclamation of the Azad Hind government on the night of the 19th, 20th October, and uh, he was given coffee and he sat and wrote it at one go, did not cross out a single word and quietly handed it over to his aides. And that was the a uh, ringing proclamation that he read on the 21st of October in uh, uh, 1943 uh, in Singapore in the Cathay Theatre. And that really gave a sense of dignity to nearly three million Indians who lived all across Southeast Asia. And they all supported uh, the INA as it marched uh, across the Indo-Burma frontier towards Delhi. Well, when, when I say what, what really made him the man he was, give us a backstory to what uh, defined Netaji to become a freedom struggle. For, what really pushed him to take up the cause for minorities, for equality? Uh, give us a backstory to this, uh, Mr. Bose. Well, as you know, he passed high into the Indian civil service. Yeah. But in 1921, he said uh, that he could not serve two masters. He resigned. Uh, and he plunged into the independence movement uh, under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. But in Bengal, there was also another very famous leader, Deshabandhu Chittaranjan Das, who was absolutely committed to Hindu-Muslim equality and unity. So even in the 1920s, uh, Netaji tried to make sure that the minorities, uh, but in Bengal at that time, the Muslims were in fact in a slight majority, but they, were, uh, they had fallen behind in... Uh, um, um, uh, in, in, in terms of the economy, education, and so on. So he wanted equality, and therefore he made sure that everyone had an equality of uh, opportunity. Uh, he also uh, talked about uh, what he uh, described as cultural intimacy. He gave a very famous speech uh, in Pune uh, to, to the Maharashtra P uh, Provincial Conference in 1928, mm. where he advocated cultural intimacy among India's different communities, not just tolerance, something much deeper, something much better, uh, which is to be able to love one another. That's the basis on uh, he established his leadership. He never asked his followers to do anything or take any risk that he himself would not take. And that's why his followers were prepared to do everything for him. I still remember talking to Mehboob Ahmed, 
who was his military secretary in 1945, later on become, became our ambassador to many countries, including Canada. And he said that I had the good fortune to work with Mahatma Gandhi, with Jawaharlal Nehru, they were all very great men. Yeah. But there was only one man that I was prepared to die for, and that was Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose. So that is the kind of uh, dedication that he inspired uh, in his people. And I know that from my father, Shishir Kumar Bose. He was just a 20-year-old medical student when he helped Netaji escape. But he had been asked by Netaji, can you do some work for me? And he never stopped doing Netaji's work until the last day of his life in the year 2000. So that was the kind of man he was. So lovely to hear that from you, Mr. Bose. Thank you very much. On the day of the 125th birth anniversary of Netaji, uh, we had you and heard some of those anecdotes that you shared. Really appreciate you joining us.